Okay, this is it. I got the rest of my stuff out of my apartment. It took two whole days and six trips. Two with the big truck, two with that truck there. And why did I move out of this place? Well, there's no water today, but it was here yesterday. But you can see people do laundry and then it floods right here. And you can see the water damage. You know, because it doesn't look that bad out here, but you can see the water damage. And then you come into my apartment and things like I painted the door. Did they paint the door? Yeah, they painted the door. Oops, you missed the spot. And then you painted this, sort of. It looks like crap. I mean, good job. Professional, right? I mean, chip marks and stuff in my door. You didn't clean it, probably. And then here's my living room. And you can see the water damage that I've been living with for the last five years. This was a brand new piece of wood that I put under one of my speakers to keep it from getting wet, which I should have gotten ones that are this tall. And you can see these if I flip one over. You can see what it's done to it and how it's sunk in and that's disgusting. Well, this has been going on for five years. Extensive, you can see what's done to the, to the boards down here. The, uh, I don't know what you call that. What do you call that where it's brown on the wall? It's all warped, and the water comes in up here because it floods. I should have come in in the daytime and do this, but this, it's coming apart in here. You can see all that. It's just flaking off. You can see the water stains. And then last year, the pipe broke upstairs. You can see this crack in the wall. You know, crack, crack in the wall. But uh, this has been going on for five years. How it rains, it seeps in and floods this whole part here. It's sopping wet. It's disgusting. And there's a crack in the wall up here that's been there. It keeps coming back. They paint it over it and they come back. And then you can kind of see the water damage from the pipe that broke last year. I can show you where it was leaking everywhere. I have a video where it was pouring from the light that they replaced with this. But because they used a different light, I didn't have the thing that goes over that, so they left it. And you can see the water damage coming out of the vents, all this water everywhere. And it's this is all cracked all along here. It's the water was dripping down and then all the way to this light. And then on the floor, you can see all the water damage. This carpet was it was sopping wet. I have a video of that so you can see that for yourselves. But yeah. You come in here to the closets and there's still mold in here because they never came and cleaned out the mold like they were supposed to do and I kept calling and calling oh we'll come do it and they never did so there you go I'm not cleaning that that's disgusting and then the bathroom it took them five weeks from the time my place flooded to come in here and they replaced this part of the ceiling and they did such a professional job look at that isn't that awesome looking? Looks so good. I mean, and then this with all the little, I mean, you, you can't tell whether they replaced it with that triangle piece there and then that rectangle piece, right? And then, and then this, I mean, this, this is professional here. Good job. Just kind of fill that in and then, and didn't make it smooth. Just, you know, that's great. And this, oh look, I think it's coming back. The mold that was in here, that was a year ago. And they redid, we did this, did they? It looks so good. Right, professional. I mean, you can see where, you can't, you can't tell where they put that big panel in, right? You can't see that. No, no, and it's sticking all down because it's not even. Yeah, that's great. We'll go in the closet here. I just turn the light back on, even though this thing enhances, it's pretty good. But you know, come in here and you can see again the water damage all along the baseboard. Baseboard, that's what that's called. Yeah, our stuff got ruined in here. The best part though is in here, in my bedroom. And I wish I hadn't taken all my lights with me, but let me turn the hallway light on. I guess the hall light is. Let me shut this, shut this door. There's enough light. Okay, look what it did. This is from the flooding. It happened every time it rained. Every time it rains, it pulls up up here 
and it comes up through the floor and across my windowsill and it destroyed my nightstand. I'm just going to leave that there. That way they know, hey, we need to fix this. You can see the water. I tried to paint that. It's, it's sticking. Can you tell how it's sticking out? The top of it is further out than the bottom of the baseboard. But it came all the way out to here. And then the flooding got all this. And you can see the mold in the, in the wall or on the wall. And I, of course, I didn't move my stuff. Probably should have, but I didn't want to touch it because it was gross. But anyway. So, but that's my apartment. I, I got everything out. That piece of wood was for my power cord to sit on top. And I was you know, like, it's hanging on the wall. Uh, but then the cords are too high. You trip over them. But anyway, I'm out of here. I got all my stuff. There's nothing left. Let's do a quick tour. You can see all the shelves are empty. I didn't leave anything behind. I didn't leave any trash behind. You know, this is clean already because I'm not that filthy. See, does that look dirty to you? No, you see shine, I see shine. You know, yeah, this is probably has to be clean, but I gotta clean it again. So you got all my medicine cabinet. I got everything out of the cupboards, out of the drawers. Both drawers are empty. See, there's nothing in there. There's nothing. I'll turn off the light. Got everything out of there. There's nothing in there. I'll go ahead and leave these open that way. I can tell that I got out of here. Got everything out of the kitchen. There's nothing, nothing left in the kitchen anymore. I got everything out. I almost forgot this drawer, but then I came back and got it. There's nothing in there. Nothing down there. Don't leave anything in the stove. Nope, nothing in the stove. Nothing in the refrigerator. That was already like that. Because somebody left their bag too close, I guess. I don't know. Nothing in the refrigerator. And there you go. I completely moved out of this apartment into a house, and I cannot believe it. And and this thing. Try to try to set the temperature on this. Okay, you can set the temperature. Wait, wait. I don't want. I want it on cool. No. Yeah, you want it. Go. There we go. Go that way. I want it off. So you're gonna stay on off? No, no, it's not doing anything. It's fucking stupid. Get out of there. Okay. Yeah, that's dumb. And then it's got batteries. This thing comes off, apparently. Because they didn't tell me. Oh, when you gotta replace the stupid batteries. Well, that's dumb. It's wired in here. Why didn't you just put it on with batteries? So stupid. You gotta go in here and to change it to uh, your mode, you gotta pick mode, and you gotta put it in in cool, and then you gotta, I didn't set the temperature, I guess that works, but mine, mine you just, it's either hot or cold, you go hot or cold, that was stupid, put a new light in, like I said, I put these new lights and took out the really long light, so you come over here, let me turn off the hallway light. We don't want any unnecessary lights. You come over here. Let's say you got to cook. So you're cooking, and what happens? Oh yeah, you get a shadow. And yeah, the phone's adjusting it, though, but there's a shadow because you're blocking the light because it's so small. But that's okay. I'm out of here. I got, I got all my stuff. I'm gonna throw this piece of wood away. Is that everything? I got my can. I got to take my key. Take my tab. I gotta take my keys, take my Mountain Dew, leave everything open, right? And I'm done with the, I'm never coming back. They can keep my nightstand as, again, they need to know. I mean, look at the water dam. That's from the flooding. Stupid place. Yeah, I did that. Although... They probably needed to cut that out to make sure the wire the wire wasn't all damaged. Maybe I should say that, but yeah, it's damage everywhere. All right. Well, anyway, that's my apartment, and they jacked up the rent three years in a row. In uh, January of 2020, it was five hundred and fifteen dollars. Then it went to six hundred. Then it went to six sixty. And then it went to 700 And then I had to get off the year lease 
and they jacked it up to $820. Like, you're kidding me. Well, you get a discount for a year. Like, well, it was $700, so it should have been $800, right? And it's $100. Oh, that's because we raised it again. You raised it again in a month after I had signed a year lease and then had to get off of it. That's awesome. Yeah, I wonder why I moved into a house. Can you can you believe it? I mean, it's huge. This is 14, a 14 foot by 14 foot living room and whatever this is. I want to say eight feet or something. Decent size. I mean, you got two big closets here. You got a uh, 13 by 12 something bedroom with a window and you got this big walk-in closet that's huge that i really liked i saw this like ooh, i want to move in here but that was 17 years ago i've lived here for 17 years i can't believe it and now i moved into a house with all my stuff wait till i show you that video coming soon all the stuff and all we did was take it out of here and put it in my house i haven't the only thing i've put away is the clothes on the hangers and I'm trying to put my bed together. But I haven't hung up my projector screen or nothing. Alright, well that's it. I got everything out of here. Goodbye.